Solutions. I'm from Holland Electronics and we're here to show you Holland's new barrier technology. This product was launched and introduced at the SETE show in Orlando, Florida this year, 2012. It's going to be ready for market early in 2013, so now's your time to talk to us about how you would want to use it. The barrier technology is here to help ingress and egress from the cable systems or the cellular systems interfering with each other. We all know that they're both fighting for space, but we have found a solution that we think is going to actually make everybody get along. Now the barrier technology is available in all different types of F ports, as you can see some of our demonstration here. It's available on splitters, taps, amplifiers, nodes, just about anything you want to do, set-top boxes, you got your male connectors, your female connectors. So whatever you're going to use it for, contact us and we'll tell you how we can apply it for your use. We all know noise sources are coming from everywhere. They could be coming from your iPad, your iPhone, regular phones, tablets, routers, ham radios, baby monitors, pretty much any type of electronic device that could be found in the home or business. And those, those noises are getting in through any open port that it can find. They're looking for the least resistance to get in there and mess with your system. So the barrier is here basically to drop that wall and stop it from getting in. In our demonstration here, we have our barrier pieces. We have a male barrier and a standard male connector, a female barrier and a standard female. We're going to show how broadband noise can get into these open or unused ports. We have a broadband noise generator back here that's broadcasting from anywhere from uh, 5 megahertz all the way up to a gig. Our analyzer here is showing that span and you're seeing uh, 10 dB gradations on the analyzer and a full 1 gig bandwidth. Right now you're seeing the noise coming in onto a standard F email. That is what we have connected and wired up right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this plot and we're going to switch this over to a barrier connector so you can see what the difference is from using a standard open port to our barrier female connectors. And you're going to see quite a bit of noise reduction just by changing out to our technology. Yes, this does take a moment in this demonstration, but it's well worth the wait. I'll we'll torque them down so I have properly terminated connections. And as you can see on the screen, you're going to see noise reductions anywhere from 20 to 30, and we've seen up to 40 dB noise reductions just by using our barrier technology. Okay, now that we've seen the benefits of the female connectors, let's go ahead and switch this demo and show you the male connectors. So let's uh, clear our screen, disconnect the noise source, and move over to the male side. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the standard F male signal that you're going to get. Get out of the way. Tighten this up. And you're going to see the noise coming as we torque this down. That's coming into the standard F male connector. Now let's go ahead and save that and switch over to the barrier mail. And again, you're going to see what a difference a few turns can make. And as we torque this down, again, you're going to see large noise reduction anywhere from 15 to 30 dB reduction on the, on the analyzer. So as you can see, the barrier technology works. It can help reduce the noise coming into or getting out of your system. 
and actually create a much, much better signal quality that you're going to have. A lot of people have used continuity connectors over the past couple of years to help with this uh, ingress issue, but the point really comes in is a continuity connector is great when it's tight. You loosen it a couple turns, it keeps the ground, but it does open up a signal path. We've tested them and they're going to get some noise ingress in from continuity connectors. The best solution, use them both. Use a barrier with a continuity connector and you basically have as bulletproof a system as you're going to get. We have our Quam video set up. We have our noise source. We have a Quam video in, a Holland barrier splice, and a standard splice that's been terminated and our picture running on the TV set. When you run the noise source in front of the barrier splice, the picture works just fine. You run it in front of a standard terminated port. Nothing happens to the picture again. But we all know ports are not terminated in a home. More than likely, there's going to be one or more open ports. So if we open that port and we put our noise source anywhere near there, see what happens. Our picture starts pixelating or goes completely away. So that's why a barrier splice, as you can see, does not affect the picture whatsoever. So the point is, is barriers are going to keep your noise out of your cable system. Get your barrier, make your system work.